Ooh. All right, so you're from an A. Okay. Okay, so we're looking for a game where you played well but lost, so basically you don't know what you did wrong. Yeah, that would be about two days ago. Um, 7 5 Sorry, 11 5 10? No, no, it's a 7. 7 5 10. Oh, yeah, that one's pretty. Pretty good one to go over. Uh, I should pro take a second one as well. I think if you try. Uh, what about this Gaga's game? Eight seven. I think that uh, that one is is good. I'm. Okay, okay, okay. Then download this Gaga's game and this Graves game. Uh, what is your goal, and why do you want this coaching? Um, I just like this game. It's it's fun, and uh, as as far as I can tell. Uh, it gets way more fun uh, as a jungler, like the higher you go. Um, so, yeah, just climb, get uh, higher quality games. Uh, and to do that, you need to become a higher quality player to be in those games. Sure, yeah. It just what, is like what, is, what is the elo where we, you would consider is that good enough? I don't know if. There's a number that's good enough. Uh, I'll play it by feel. Like, there's no specific number where I'm like, oh, if I hit GM, like it's it's my personal like level of quality I'm satisfied with, and then everything will be okay. I'm sure it'll like change as I improve, but uh, and I can tell you, you will never be satisfied. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of what I was uh, getting at because you always move like the the goalposts, right? But uh, mm. I don't know. It just feels like uh, there's a there's a special kind of hell I'm playing in right now. I <laughs> every time I I ask like higher elo friends, they they kind of agree with me that uh, like as you climb, it's it's like it's fun to interact with players of a rank you've never played with. Uh, regardless if if people think it's bad or not, but uh, and, and that's why people like climbing to begin with. I feel like they don't really care about the rank. Like the one exception is, uh, as far as I've heard, it's Emerald. Like apparently everyone just hates this place. So my short term goal is to get out of here. Mm, I mean, I don't think it's only Emerald. I think it's probably like oh, like platinum, gold, Emerald. It's kind of the same. No, people when I was say, like, it is, isn't it? It's like it, people who are tryharding, but they're like not that high yet. I would uh, say. no, it's like a different. It's like a different level. So I, I, I know like multiple boosters, and they like apparently this like this section of like NA Emerald Low Diamond is like the biggest customer base for boosters ever. So, like. Oh. All the like boosters and Smurfs kind of like collect here, and it makes all the games inconsistent. That's not a fun gaming experience, right? So, uh, yeah, I figure okay, a good uh, short-term goal is get out of here. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, yeah, this is the grave spawn. All right, um, you're going into this game. You're playing Graves into Nocturne. How's this matchup? Uh. When they have uh, lethal tempo, it's hard to interact with them early. So, uh, I th I think it's it's okay. Uh, do you, do you win or lose? This is like a yes or no question. Um, I have no clue actually. This is the first. I do not know. Okay. Yeah, the first one I played in a while. I mean, generally. Uh, you win against Nocturne. The only way he wins is if he gets the fear off. Okay, mm -hmm. but you have okay. so you have the E, and you can use the E most of the time through like some walls, and this should be the reason why you will why why you would win it, right? I see. And okay. also he needs to hit his Q, which is kind of hard because you're range champ, and you can also dodge it. But, but yeah, this is like a common counter actually to Nocturne. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. I mean, since it's only emeralds, just, okay, because normally I ask, like, okay, what do you think about top, what do you think about mid, what do you think about bot, okay? 
And normally I ask this because you need to identify prios. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, for this, like it's em emeralds, it, this, there can be the case that a lane will just not have prio because they don't know how to play it. Okay. But okay. I will still ask this. What do you think who will have prio this game? Like who will win their lane? Uh, um, I think in general it'll be on. He just Action, yeah. range top into melee champ. And I think Silas generally won't have prio. Uh, yeah. and so, uh, actually, I'm not sure. Okay, I mean, fair enough. If you're not sure, I do think it can be contested, but probably, I mean, Zena should get prio, I would say, because Ezra was also strong early. But, oh, by the way, um, are you recording this? Oh, yes, I actually forgot to ask you. Is it fine? Uh, yeah, can I that's. Record it and put it on YouTube. Yeah, that's perfectly fine, actually. Okay, why did you ask? Uh, I would just want to know if I should record this. Oh no, no, no. I'm recording it. I'm recording. It. Gotcha. I mean, the last record recordings actually went into waste because uh, there was like a bug and you couldn't hear the student. Oh but man. This time, this time it works. Hopefully. Nice. Okay. Um. So you you do have top prio, you don't have mid prio, and you might have bot prio. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What are you aiming to path? Like, what is, what should your pathing be? Um. Oh, we can look what you are doing actually. So you start outside. Okay. Why? Uh, I since I'm not sure if bot um if bot gets prio here, I figured auction is the uh the more guaranteed uh lane to path towards. Because if okay. he always has prio, then I can right. invade topside. Okay, good. Um, do you know where where Nocturne starts? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if he starts like chickens these days or no, 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 no. Like in this specific game, do you actually know right now? Oh, uh, no, we you, don't. You don't. Okay. Is there anything you could have done to find out? Uh, yeah, we could have scouted them early, like drop a ward. Only you. Yeah. Where? Um. Oh yeah, I could have dropped it on his red. Huh? Like okay. the either wall. red, yes. But there's a better word, which is Raptors. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, um... So, because there are, like, some different pathings where you start Raptors and then you go this. I don't mm -hmm. know if you have seen that. But, uh, in general, the Raptor words will give you a lot more information than the red only. But, yes, you should... You, you, as Graves, especially, you can just walk up to the Nocturne, right? He just has to walk away. So, in that case, you can just put the word in his face, even. Um... And, yeah, you didn't do it. So, right now, in this game, specifically... You do not have any information because, like you said, if you knew it was gonna pass, like if he, he, if let's say he starts blue, okay? Mm -hmm. You see him, you see him here. Uh, you would have three cams, and you see action has prior. Like you said, you could have actually maybe invaded him, yeah. Because you as you as well have like a strong one in one. I mean, this is something you should know, but okay. Let's see. I mean, uh, I think in this elo, sometimes they pull, so maybe you could have found out like that, but I think they didn't. Okay. Alright. Okay, so you do not... Okay, let's go back. So you do not pull clear, you're ganking mid. Now, why? She just used her spells, so... Like, I know that she's kind of a... Uh... She's like zoned in on the 1v1. I, I don't think that's like good reasoning as a jungler in general, but I feel like they just don't pay attention. So if okay, I have um, a gank, like. I can tell you why this gank can work. And the reason for that is that she crashed this wave too early. Yeah, okay. so the, yeah, the minions are going to meet like forward there. So I have a timer. Is that what you're trying to say? Correct. Because uh, mm. do you know when she will get three? Um, 
Mm, is it the third wave? The is cannon? The cannon wave? No, yeah, she gets it after two melees. Oh, okay. And because this crashed already, normally if this wave was here, um, this wave and these two minions would hit these two me melees and she would get it fairly quickly. Yeah, okay. And if she gets three, she's not getting killed. Right? She just has too much health, mm -hmm. she has another, another spell. Uh, in this case, it actually doesn't look bad. Um, do you know where Nocturne is? Um, uh, let me think. I think I was looking for a leash during the game. I completely forgot during this VOD review. Uh, yeah, I'm not I mean, sure where he is. They didn't. They didn't leash. I mean, I can okay. go back, but they didn't leash. Okay, so yeah, I don't know where he is. So okay, correct. So you don't know where he is. Do you know if this is where is? Um, no. Do you know like the if Ari is here level one or whatever? No. Okay, so would you say this is a good gank? Yeah, I get like if we don't know that I mean, they warded. I mean, it's a tricky then, question. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so I think you can know that she didn't ward because um, you did cover this. I think you did cover this from from like you did cover it all the way. Yeah, Salas did cover, so you know it's not warded actually. Okay, you saw Ari. You actually know it's not warded. Mm. All right, at this point, is it still good gang? Yeah, I think I think it's worth going for. Okay, why? Um, Let, let's say Nocturne also did red golems raptors and he comes from here. Okay, he comes from here. Yeah. Do you win or not? Uh, oh man, I guess that is a lot of minions, huh? It actually isn't. I mean, not when you approach. Like right now, it's oh. kind of an even wave. Okay. Well, it's an even wave and she doesn't get level 2 yet. Until you approach, one will die, the other one is gonna be not dying, I think. Mm -hmm. So, but but so what's important for you is you need to think about this possibility that right now Nocturne could be here, right? Just as you can be here, and the answer to that question is yes, you would still win. Okay, just by the nature of your champion, okay. and by the nature of Nocturne, Nocturne is just not a strong champion level three. He can get kited if you yeah. flash away. He like that's it, right? He cannot kill you anymore, and your champion is very very strong here. That's why it doesn't actually matter that Nocturne can be here. I Let's see. see where Nocturne is. I mean, he's here. But he, I mean, in general, he could be here, and then it wouldn't matter too much. Mm -hmm. But let's say this was an Elise, and you play Gragas, okay? Then for sure, even that, even if this is the same um, situation, I would tell you this is super int, because there is this very good likelihood that this Nocturne is also going here, and then you will just mm. die, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, so yeah, you gank this, Nocturne tries, he's useless. Okay, you take blue first. Um, I think in this case, it's okay to take blue first, but it would be a little bit more efficient if you take wolves into Gromp first. I agree. I actually first. don't know but why it did the Gromp. But it doesn't matter too much. Okay. Okay, what are you doing now? After this waltz. Uh, I wanted to go to his uh, his chickens, because now we have the timer on it. But when I saw them yes. fighting, I I thought maybe I can help him. I didn't watch the fight, so I don't know if he has W here and he can like outplay or not. So I was just walking here. Okay, do you realize helping. the state of the Silas? Um, yeah, I knew he was, uh, he was low health. Um... Okay, uh, yeah. I will I will just spoiler it. He's overstayed. You did a kill. You remember? You did a kill. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, after a kill, someone needs like the like you need you want to reset. Okay, mm, he needs to reset, and actually uh... also you need to reset. Also you, both of you guys need to reset because you have money, right? You have a lot yeah. of money. Yeah. So and what happened to the silence is he just didn't. Okay, this this will happen a lot in Emerald because people aren't like seeing this. Mm -hmm. Um. So right now, because he is overstayed, for he for you he should not be an active player in your in your plan. Okay? Mm -hmm. So he, so he fights this and he will lose this. Because he is overstayed. Okay. And you trying to help someone who's overstayed is normally a mistake. I see. Okay? I see. Do you know where Nocturne is? 
Uh, no, I do not. Um, you do not. Yeah. No, no, no. You do know. You do know. Oh. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Think again. You know. You know. Raptors are spawning in ten. Uh huh. Okay. You know this. That means where did he start? Uh, he started on the the Raptors. So he's correct. Like, what did he second? His uh, Krugs are his red. So he's clearing his his uh his bot camps, but uh, yes, uh, I thought he might have like reset or gone to the crab and then reset here. I mean, he did show mid as well, right? Do you remember? He like eat you and then he just went back. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he didn't have time to. to clear so he's that. actually on same tempo as you. Oh. Because yeah, he also right. yeah. used time. He didn't get anything. Wait, let me let me show you. As soon as you see this happening, you know he did exactly the same as you. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So if you are finished with three camps, he's finished with three camps. Ah, okay. So he's on crab. Okay. Um, Good chance he's on crab. Maybe not I mean, guaranteed. Yeah. I mean, he should he should have done Grom first and stuff, but okay, he's mm -hmm. not efficient. Um, but yeah, he should, he should be doing the exact same as you. Okay, this is very important for this de decision on mid. So you do know Nocturne is somewhere bot side. Okay. And now, do you think this is still good? No, this is actually horrible. I I don't for think that? it's the, the 2v2. We're not going to win it. Why? Because Silas is just too low. Yeah, and why is he low? Because he's overstayed, okay? Mm -hmm. Gotcha, there's gotcha. Gonna be, there's going to be situations um, where... Someone is low, but he is, has already a base because, like, let's say he he based before and he has like dark seal and M flank tone. Okay, mm -hmm. he's even though he's low, I would still actually say this might be fightable because he will have like a lot of damage. Yeah, so maybe maybe he can like chunk her to one HP. But I yeah, see. he's gonna be useless in this case because he hasn't had a base. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and so your mistake is actually just trying to help him. And your plan, taking the respawn of the Raptors, I like this a lot. This is really good. Especially because, you know, Nocturne, he is bot side right now. If he wants to come here in time, he kind of has to either uh, not take all camps. Like, maybe he can skip this, take this and run here. Or he has to run through mid, and then you would also see him. Mm -hmm. So, this is like a win-win for you, because you can then kite it away, right? Yeah. And on top, you would either way win 1v1. So, you're very good to take this. So this plan is very good. Okay. All right, you're taking his his golems as well. He should, but. Uh, okay. Honestly, that's all right. I usually don't like this because at this point your camps are already respawning, right? Mhm. Mm so if you would have based, it would have been a little bit more efficient for you. But this is totally fine. Like it's not a big mistake. It's just preference. Um, well, now, hmm. not, yeah, actually, tell me. So, but if I base after chickens, I don't think I can, like, my bot lane is dead, so can't he just contest me on the, the Krugs? I know I have, like, item when I come back, but... Okay, 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 this is a good question, because this shows me you, um, you're missing one important uh, thing. If someone dies, like the Senna... Okay. Uh, she's How long does it take too. until she comes back? Um, uh, maybe 30 seconds. So oh, if I no, base... No no no. No, 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 no. You're wrong. It takes way less. Oh, the respawn? Like, like, look, she just respawned like four seconds ago. Okay. Okay. Let's say four. Oh, she has the thing. How is she? Um, like, uh... it, takes, it takes 20 seconds. Okay. 20. From respawn to here. How long does it take for Nocturne? Walk here, contest this, and then walk out. More than 20. Mm. Okay? So this guy, if if he kills your ward and goes through his golems afterwards, most of like most likely you will have your reinforcement before he has his. Yeah, okay. Because he killed. Oh. So this would actually be an argument for going base and contesting this, not against. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. So wow. So so every time you kill someone. There should be a timer in your head. Or like, it's the same goes for you. Like, if someone dies in your team, there's a timer. Okay, wait. He's going to be back very soon. In 20 seconds, he's back. Okay? Mm, okay. The same will... So, like, now you killed Shen. 
Hand to Grubs. Uh, uh, I don't think so, because he has like the. At that point, he has the time to reset and then walk to walk to Grubs, right? Yeah, but okay. Let's let's take this experiment. How long does it take for you to walk to Grubs from here to here? Uh, I'm gonna guess like 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, I, yeah, ten. Okay, so he's he's respawned in ten. Okay, now he's respawned. All right. How long does it take to take these grubs? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't actually know. I think I two grubs 30. is like ten seconds. Oh, actually, you did, I mean, you didn't have items, so it would take longer. But let's say you had items, it's like twenty to thirty seconds, right? Okay. So in how long will he be? In, he will be here in like fifteen, I would say, if he walks straight. Mm -hmm. Right, fifteen is now, so he would be here or here or maybe he's over this. So yes, this this your your window was too small to actually take this. Okay, mm. so this is correct to not do after you kill him. If you didn't kill him, let's say he was one HP, okay, and just got out. Does this change this this situation? Can you can you then do grabs? Yes, disregard, because disregard the TP. By the way, disregard the TP. Mm -hmm. We uh, we can because he needs to recall instead of just die and respawn. So that should take Correct. more it's, time. Yes, it takes way more. It's, it's like maybe ten to fifteen seconds longer. Okay, and then the mm. window for, for taking grabs is actually big enough. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow, I was right. not thinking about any of that at all. I just saw. Oh, I have the perfect gold for my components. I have to reset. <laughs> okay, I mean, um, all right, it's very good that you learned this. So, okay, where is Nocturne? I mean, I kind of spoiled it, but where is Nocturne now? Wait, did, did, he, did he actually so, show? Uh, he yes. showed, like, retreating out of bot. Uh, yep. He showed somewhere. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah, we stopped the recall, so he's either on his okay, camps okay, okay, or okay. he reset. All right, right now. Um, do you realize you have insane amount of tempo on this Nocturne, because he got cancelled. Right? Do you realize this? Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's it's like an yeah, extra... Let's, let's, look at, let's look at it again. Oh, wait. When did we see him last? No. Okay, oh my so... god, he's so low. Wait, I can just walk to his Gromp. Okay, um... Alright, he's gonna start channeling base now. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, if he bases, of course. Uh, it's 28. So, where will we? Where will you be in eight seconds? Like here, right? Yeah. Okay, so you have you have at least 10 seconds window ahead on him. 10 seconds, at mm -hmm. least. So, what could you do with these 10 seconds? Mm -mm. Okay, I got excited and said I can walk to his his gromp, but I'm not actually sure if I can, I can I can do that. What I can, okay. can do, like guaranteed, is take my camps, but... Uh... Yes, okay, yeah, this is correct. This is option one, all right. Uh, this Grom, okay, let's say he's... I will tell you, he's in base now, okay? Okay. You see? Mm -hmm. Now, if you would walk straight... Uh, we're gonna get there at the same time. Correct. So, because, why? Like, why is it actually, even though you have tempo advantage, why is this, like... Not enough, mm, because the yeah. wait where is way longer for you yeah. than for him, right? Yeah. So it, it takes like 40 seconds to here, while him it will take like 25. Oh my god, so, this this is the game. The the 6-9 game. That's the mistake I kept making that game. Wow. No, no, oh, I mean, of course, wow. I mean, you will... I mean, this doesn't have to blow you blow your mind. This is standard. Like, this is standard, okay? This is, nor this is something you have to learn. You will have to mm. learn this if you want to climb, okay? Bec I mean, I see these mistakes. I've had like 15 coachings now. They, like every student does this in lower elos. <laughs> okay, they they always do not realize um, the tempo you they have above them above their like enemy. Okay, so you you realize you have tempo. Okay, above Nocturne. Mm -hmm. So what could you do with that? We already identified Gromp would be even tempo and not ahead tempo. Yeah. What can we do with that instead? Uh, I, okay, my first instinct is clear my bot camps and then go to the go to the thingies, the grubs. 
Okay, all right. Honestly, that is something you can do, and I think this is a very good option. But mm. I just want to. I want you to tell me the second option. Uh, I don't know. Drake. Yes. Wolves. Okay. Okay. So do you know why? Right, let's uh, look at mid state. Okay. Uh, yeah, we do have prio. Now our bot lane is still there. There's this end, so they can push out too. So we can actually do this Drake. This, yeah. So this is a pushback, right? This is a yeah. pushback. This is a pushback. Uh, Not a yeah. good one, but this is a, this is also a pushback. He will have prio. They will have prio. In fi like how? Okay. In in what amount of time can your laners, like actually both of them, move? In how many seconds? Oh, sorry. Can you say that again? In how many seconds can your laners move, mid and bot? Uh, maybe ten. They have to kill. Uh, I would say. I mean, it it takes a little bit more time. It's like twenty. Oh, All right. Okay. How long does it take you to like to walk the dragon from here? Uh, it's like fifteen if I hop the wall. I think. I mean, it would be probably a little bit less. I would say ten. Okay. But yeah, okay. Let's say fifteen. All right. So yeah, you will start this. Okay, and 20 seconds later, like after the starting this, 5 to 10 seconds later, your laners can, can join you, right? It's actually perfect. And when can Nocturne be there? Oh man, he, it's, it's longer, it's like 15 or, or, or 20. But I mean, if actually, he goes I to think, his... I think if Nocturne comes, he's gonna be having the same tempo, same, same tempo as your laners. Okay. If he instantly walks. Yeah. Like, he will have started this, he will have been on it 5 to 10 seconds, and then he could be here. But also your laners could be here at the same time. Okay? Okay. So this would be, in, like, this would be in zero contestable dragon for him. 0, 0.0. Because this is actually a four-man dragon for you guys. Mid and bot can, like, have to answer, and you have tempo damage on this Nocturne. Wait, this is actually free. Wow. Is... It is completely free. Okay, let's say... You were here, now you would start it. You see, Nocturne would be 10 seconds late. Oh, right? man. Yeah. You see, mid has moved. And you see, bot... Actually, I was wrong. Bot doesn't have move yet. Move yet. They would have to catch one more wave. But this wave is actually pretty easy to kill. It's like, they have a huge wave. They will get it, right? So mm. they would be moving... I will, Like, not 20 seconds later, but like 30. They would take 10 more seconds, 15 seconds. Okay, and so this is this is like what you have to think about in higher elos. But in like in Emerald, this you don't even have to have like mid prior and bot prior and having to know that Nocturne is on tempo. Because I mean most of the time people will just like not check do the correct play and let you have this anyways. Mm -hmm. But um for you it's like I would say get at least one lane prior, at least. Okay. So if this was mid or bot, I would be telling you to still take this dragon. Okay. And have have advantage, tempo advantage on the nocturne. This is important. Okay. Um. So yeah, this was for sure. This was for sure a free, free dragon. Okay. Now let's go back to option one you had, uh, because I actually don't dislike it. Because clearing now and then taking the grub is actually more efficient for your income. Um. I would say dragon is a little bit better than grubs. But yeah. Okay. Uh. So. Yeah, since I'm a uh, since I'm a carry jungler, is it does that like weigh heavily against the dragon option that much? I it, like it's still a cloud drake, but don't I Explain. want like don't I want to hit the power spike like as early as possible before my opponents, and then I just um, like, snowball from there. So you're meaning you should prioritize this this full clear more than the dragon, because it will give you more gold and you're a carry, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so the answer to that is it doesn't matter that much which champion you are, honestly. Mm, Not okay. really. So, yes, you will use a little, like, gold and XP you will, lose you will use better than let's say Sejuani, okay? But in the end, what will win you the game is Soul, right? Soul actually wins you the game. Mm. And uh, like just having a little bit more level lead, you would have to play very clean to actually snowball this, right? You would have to be like a very good player. And it, you, you're making it stupid and dumb 
to just take dragon four times and then you just win. You don't have to outplay. You don't have to act like you don't have oh. to think about. Oh, is my champion even good against? Is your champion good against enemy team? Is it? Uh, I I wouldn't think so. Not really. I would agree. I mean, the only like you're good against Nocturne, but that is kind of it, right? Yeah, yeah that's you. pretty Army, much it. That yeah. is kind of it. So your champion actually doesn't even like. Let's say you have six items. If the whole enemy team has four items, they will be able to deal with you, right? Yeah. So, yeah. and yeah. what would have like what will win you the game is the objectives. I mean, mm -hmm. grubs also count for it, but yeah. Um. So I would tell you to have that. Uh, that that like logic. Don't don't think about it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Like, it doesn't matter too much what you play. Just just play efficient. I mean, this like I said, this full queue isn't bad, but you have to. Make the active decision. Wait, I could have done dragon, but instead I think I will just full clear because of this and this and this, right? Okay. If you think this is more worth, all right, fine enough for me. Uh, very important right now. You're making a mistake. Do you see it? Uh, I'm not padding to my Gromp. Is that? Yeah. Why okay. should you do it? Why you should you do the Gromp first? Just uh, it's just more efficient. Also, I'll have six in case they want to contest. Yes. The thing. Both. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you see, so I think what you did is, I think you saw Nocturne bot, and you were like, oh, wow, wow now I can take Grubs for free, right? Yeah, that is exactly what I thought, actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, 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 okay, let's say you take Grump. I mean, it's still but free, it's, it's, yeah. It's still free, correct. It's just the more efficient way, both of them are free, but the one is giving you more gold at the end, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, mm. oh, no, it isn't, I went to his chickens. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, I actually didn't. Oh, I remember this. this now. All right. Uh, is this good? Uh, I mean, we have mid prio, so this is. I'm pretty sure this is just free. I'll. I okay. guess we don't have. Do the, you? Yeah. You know, okay. Yeah. yeah. This is the thing. You do not have it. On top, what's there else? Like, there's a second argument against this invade. Uh, I don't have my. I was gonna say I don't have my six yet, but I don't know if that's. No, no, no. There's like, like okay, mid doesn't have prio. Top. Yeah. Top um, have prio. I I this don't think so. It's gonna be a tricky question. It's, like I think Shen can like freeze it for free. It's he wants to. I okay. think Akshan wants to go back. Okay, I mean actually Akshan is already based, right? I mean you see it. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So this is this is a trick question. No, normally this your Akshan has prio, okay? Mm -hmm. But this is a Shen. So he just has to press the button to be in this fight. Yeah. So oh, he, yeah. Can be, he, he can be here and Akshan can. So yeah. against how many people are you fighting in theory? Yeah, it's actually two people. It's it's both the it's Shen three, and it's, the Ari. It's Ari. three, right? Sh Shen, Ari, and, and Nocturne, of course. So this is, the, like, this is gonna be a 1v3 slash 2v3. Mm. Okay? And I mean, Silas should not have prior, so he should also be later than Ari. Right? So oh, in general, this is, so this could be int, right? Yeah. I think you don't, you won't get punished for this, probably. Yeah, you don't. But this is actually pretty like inty. Yeah. But okay. Mm. All right. So, you're are you seeing what you're doing right now? Uh, I I want to go top, and I, I'm like padding mid because. Someone showed, I think. Oh, Akshan Ak 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 is here. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, you do you want to fight it? No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't. Okay. Why? Actually, why? Uh, I don't actually know if we can. We can. We have the damage to kill them here. It's. Okay. Um. Let's count. Who's stronger, Akshan or Shen? In this case, who's strong? Uh, Akshan. Who's stronger, Silas or Ari? Um, I mean, I would say Silas because he has more of the combat components, but I don't. Know. I would say, I mean, I would. I'm probably either equal or Silas is a little bit stronger. I would agree. And who's stronger, Nocturne? Are you? It's definitely me. Okay, so are you winning or not? I mean, I, I, I also want to say I'm winning. That's why I joined the fight. You are. But... I... Yes, you are. This okay. fight, I mean, the thing is, okay, so of course, 
in general, you sh like this shouldn't even be a thing that's happening. Okay, the enemies are just inting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And for you to identify that they are inting is this is like in your head you should have these three steps. Wait, pop is stronger, mid is equal or stronger, and you are stronger. So you should be winning, okay. right? Okay. This is the reason you, why you can be like, oh well, okay, I guess I will go to this fight. In general, you shouldn't be doing this fight, and you should just get actually, like, you should start getting objectives. Okay? You are okay. strong enough to get objectives, so you should play for them. Um, this is what I wanted to tell you at the start. Like, I mean, you were just counter jungling and, and like farming instead of taking this real quick, and then this real quick. But, um, okay, like taking this fight is fair enough, and it's good. Like, I cannot, I cannot like tell you this is a bad play, because, I mean, I, I think you did misplay, but we can talk about it. I mean, because they are inting, right? And you're just going for it, so... Yes, of course, this is fine. Alright, did, did you see your mistake? In this fight? Mechanical mistake? I saw a lot of mechanical mistakes. I, uh... Actually, let's let's watch this fight. I I think I, like, Q-flashed, I, like, didn't bounce, and I didn't have to flash there. And then, uh... I didn't auto-ult her when she was low. So then she got away. She didn't even die this fight. Okay, how would you how would you play it again if you had to play it again? How would you play it again? So you know Charles uh, out. Do you know she has no flash? No, I didn't know that. Okay, this uh, would, like this would be pretty important to track. But okay, let's say yeah. you don't know this. Let's say she has flash. You do you know that Shen has E? Um, he just ported, right? He, yeah, I think he does. Okay, it's... so which spell is the one like which spell is dangerous for you? Of all mm. spells. It's gonna be the uh the, the taunt in this case. So the, yeah, oh. this, is, this is actually the only spell out of all spells that are here that are that is dangerous to you. So how would you play it? Man, I need a smoke screen the, the Shen first, I guess. You don't have it, you don't have it. You oh, I don't have it. Okay. Uh I can't walk in. I can't go in. You can walk in, but you cannot really? be in. This is ah, you cannot be in. You I can see. just walk up. Saying. You can just walk up. You can legit queue the like you queue the minions, maybe even auto the minions, honestly, because you have a lot of time. You could also honestly you could also start with ult, so you have the clear one like hit. Okay, even like oh. this is all good. Okay, you can queue or ult whatever. You oh, what the only thing you cannot do is e, because as soon as you e, Shen can e you. Yeah. Okay, and the thing is after you e, you could you should probably still flash this right, but then you will have to invest flash. Um, so I would just tell you walk up, but don't press E or flash. Like just, just like use that to dodge his stun. Or let's say this guy is good, okay, and he E flashes you. Then like that is really really hard to dodge. You will still not get one shot, right? Mm -hmm. Because then you will E away or flash away afterwards. Okay, so the, it's just very important you do not E in and flash in, because now you're in three people. Everyone, all of these three people can hit you. And, yeah, that's it. Like, you will just get stunned and one-shot. Yeah, I don't know why I played that so fast. It's... Correct, you, yeah, yeah. This, this, yeah, you, do, you don't have to play it fast. I mean, this Nocturne, I can tell you, is a completely useless piece of shit. Yeah. And you gave him, basically, the option to heal you. Yeah. He would not get a <laughs> single out to take off on you, by the way. Not a single one. Yeah. But now he can. Okay, so after this, uh, I mean, you get respawned. This is good for you. What can you do now? Uh, I can run to... It's the same as a... Uh... Oh, no, I can't. I, wait, I, I wait, think... wait, okay. What did you want to say you can do Trick Dragon? Yeah, I was thinking about the Dragon again, because I think Silas is going to have priority, obviously, because Ari's dead, <laughs> but... Okay, wait. Uh... <laughs> can actually... Does Silas have priority? Oh, he needs to reset. His... I mean, this is what we talked about at the start. Yeah. Right? He's overstayed. Right yeah. now, he's overstayed. He needs to base. Yeah. Correct. So who will have prior mid? Yeah, it's going to be the Ari. She'll be back and then... Okay. So, so yeah, Ari will be back. What will she do? She's going to get the wave out while yeah, she's gonna get mid. Yeah. Okay, good. So Ari will have prior in how many seconds? Or like, will be, will be able to move in how many seconds? Uh... Um, if you start this dragon now, like if you run towards this dragon and Ari comes, how many seconds later after the dragon start can Ari be there? 
I think it'll be pretty soon. It'll be like ten. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna guess ten, but yeah, I would say like a little bit later, probably twenty. But yeah. okay, let's say let's say you start rank now, right? You would kind of start it now. Okay. Now she would still she will still not still not be here. I mean, it is a little bit later on the game, so it takes longer to respawn. Um, she would approach soon. I mean, she goes top, by the way. So this experiment will not be shown, but yeah. She would be here, she would take this wave in like 10 seconds, I would say, maybe 15, and then she would take another yeah. 10 to walk. All right, yeah. so how, ma how many seconds do we have to hit this drag? I think it's like 20 total, 20 or maybe even 30, right? It, it like yeah. actually enough time to kill it. All right, so Ari is out of the question. Mm. What is your tempo against, against Nocturne? Uh, I'm ahead like. I think eight seconds because yeah, I respawned. Yeah, because you got you got respawned, correct? Yeah. And uh, you have Yumus. Actually, I mean this makes a difference. This actually will give you a few seconds more compared to him. Okay. I I okay, actually don't know how long it's gonna take for me to kill this Drake. So. This no, this will give you like ten seconds advantage. It will not be enough to kill this Drake in ten seconds advantage, but it will be enough to have it low. Okay. Okay. It's, it's gonna be like half HP. So, okay, and now let's talk bot lane. Does bot lane have Fryo? Uh, no. No. Okay, should you take this dragon? No. I I think it looks pretty bad. Okay, I can tell you, it's... I would, I would still take this dragon. Oh, okay. And the reason for that is... So, A, we already figured out Ari's out. Okay, Ari is not going to be a problem. Okay. Because she's too late. Okay? Bot lane can be a problem, yes. But they first they are low, and second they're pushing. That means you would see them if they move, okay. And third, like the third argument, which which is for, also for the dragon, is if like the only way Nocturne is gonna be in time is if he instantly walks here, right? Skips all these camps that mm -hmm. are up. If he instantly walks here, and even then he doesn't kill you because he's not gonna be six yet. Uh, so that would mean it would be like maybe a 50-50. Maybe you will like donate the dragon to him. That's the worst case. But you can never die here. Mm. You can never ever die. Uh, worst case is probably 50-50. So normally you would get this dragon. Just because Ari is not is not here. And Botlane is not in the best state to move. And they could. But they would, ha they would have to have a ward. Right? They would have to have a ward. Mm -hmm. And the likelihood of that is very low. And also it's Emerald Elo. So people will just not... <laughs> objectives. <laughs> this is like the last argument, I guess. So I am pretty sure this dragon is still free. Thank you. So this is the second dragon uh, window that you didn't take. Okay, so instead you're doing red and you're walking bot. Okay. Is this a good gang? Uh, I mean, I thought it looked great, because she's like humping the turret for plates, so this is like, okay. how is she gonna get um, out of here? Alright, can Nocturne be bot? Uh, he can, but I'm pretty sure I win that. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I mean, he, he can he can be bot. Okay. Um. I mean, honestly, he could be bot, but... Do you know where he started? Uh, he started topside, so... Correct. So where is he most likely? He's most likely topside. I actually knew that okay. during the game, that he might be topside here, so... Correct. So, I mean... There's like two options. Either he thinks, wait, you're taking red and will gank bot, and then this is the reason he will go bot, if he's like really good. Or he's like, oh wait, actually I have bot prior and I will get mid prior soon, and I can maybe do this dragon, right? This is also the only case where he would find you at the dragon, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah, that's that's true. That's a, Oh man, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, but he, him being bot, he would have to outplay you mind, like in your mind, right? Yeah. He'd be like, oh wait, he's gonna gank me because he thinks I'm top, so uh, yeah. So, is this a good gank? I think it's a good gank. Correct. Okay, can they get out by themselves? Uh, can the Jinx get out, you mean? Yeah, can the Jinx get out by herself? Um, I... I thought no. I didn't know if she had Ghost or not, though. So, I'm not sure. Okay, um, I mean, I would honestly say probably she can. Mm. If Tri is warded, and we see Tri is warded, so it is not easy for you to kill them. I think if she just presses Ghost 
and she can and like maybe Lulu presses Q on you, you they are probably out. Okay. But, I mean, I would I would I would tell you to go for this because this is actually true. Nocturne cannot be here, and if they don't play this perfect, I mean probably you will get at least summoners, but you will most likely get killed. So this is okay. This is. This is for sure good. Okay. I, I remember I took the red before ganking because I I thought I might need the slow here. Okay, I mean, in the end, yeah, you get... You can actually get even two. Okay, this was good. I mean, Jinx could have for sure ran out if she presses Ghost. Okay. Mm. And honestly, I think Lulu probably could have lived as well if she played this well. Honestly, so in the end, maybe this... It's okay because they will... Not played perfect, I guess. But yeah, I mean, you can go for this. It's not, it's not obvious what you should do here. Okay. Okay, so you go for the full clear. Um, could you have done dragon after this kill? Uh, I don't. I, I guess, I guess I could. I don't really want to though, because if he's topside and then he just sees me there. And uh, his his uh, his blue side spawning, he can just walk across and skip the grubs. I, I don't, I'm not really comfy with that. Okay, if he does that, what can you do? I can take his bot side. Um, this was the bait. Oh. Can you? Can you take his bot side? Man, my bot lane needs to reset. And you, and any bot lane. Die and they, and they will be yeah. back with full HP yeah. and items. Yeah. Right? So I mean honestly, probably they wouldn't check it, right? They probably <laughs> would just let you have yeah. it. But yeah, I mean in general, like like yeah, the higher you go, the more likely it will be that they will actually just stop you from taking this. Mm. Okay? So yeah, you like you're basically you're not allowed, but they would probably make the mistake of allowing you that. Mm. So yeah, this this is why this was a bait. Um but you are right, you could have taken this dragon. You're right. And if he takes your topside camps, uh, my answer to that would be, okay, then he has the topside camps, but then you can instantly take over this. Right? Because he doesn't have the tempo to take this and this. He can only take camps or grubs. So, I think if I were you, I would be like, well, dragon, and then like contest him on topside, take whatever left, like, whatever he left here. Mm. This is what I would probably do. Because, but the reason for that is because I'm objective focused, right? I I think objective wins the game, so in this case, yeah. Yeah, I I don't really think like that when I play Graves. I don't know, like it feels like if I give gold, I'm just I there's nothing else the champ can do besides deal damage. Like, I mean, getting mm. dragons is legit the like the thing you're doing for your team without being strong. You know, this this thing gives stats and. If, like, with four, you will win the game. Mm. Right? So, yeah. I mean, this is... this is Champions like uh, Udyr or Shivana or something like this, they're completely useless if dragons weren't a thing. So, like, why would you ever not play just a tank, a sort of, like, a full-on useful tank, uh, if objectives and something like this wouldn't be a thing? Wait... Uh, can you say that again? Let's say objectives wouldn't exist. Okay. Okay. Um, like a dragon wouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. Wait, what was what was my point? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. So wait, tanks do objectives slowly, right? Right, but they have utility. Correct. So if dragons wouldn't exist. You would have to win the game by team fights, right? Yeah. Basically, because yeah. you don't you don't have the option to take drag. Mm -hmm. So in that case, probably carries would be pretty shit to pick if dragons yeah. didn't exist. Champions that that deal like that clear fast and can PVE and graves is for sure one of those. They abuse jungle role by taking objectives. Mm. Okay. Because like you can generate like this this thing is a thousand gold worth probably. Maybe a little bit less, but it's like a lot of money worth and the soul automatically wins you the game. And you didn't even touch enemy champions. And your champion does this pretty fast mm. because you are dealing, like you're building damage. If you were a Sejuani, this would take a minute. Yeah. Or like, not that long, but it would take fucking long. And then it wouldn't be that worth to take it alone. 
right? But your champion actually one-shots it. Like, you do it very quickly. And this is why it's very good to take it. I see, I see. Okay, um... Alright, so do you see your first dragon is at minute 11? Yeah, <laughs> that's... I noticed that during the game too, like, it was... it was really late. <laughs> and you're, like, do you realize the first dragon could have fallen minute 5? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or something yeah. like like, like when, when you were coming here. I mean, a little bit later, like six something. Yeah, this this could have been like a two Drake lead. That would have gone crazy. Yes, man. I mean, you would have the second dragon like here now. You would have the second dragon, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna forward this game until you throw it, and I would like to go to the second game and see the yeah. early, because we're gonna pretty sure like see similar mistakes, right? Yeah. And then we can maybe see a pattern. Uh, right, I mean, your bot lane turret just died. Okay, you go to base, you buy item. Okay, you take Herald, I've been knocked on the still bot. We don't give a shit. That's good. Okay, do you realize what's, why this herald is illegal? Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> they can just they can collapse from bot, on right? Yeah. I mean, they, they, they just killed your bot, they have bot push, they can rotate. Yeah. And There's like now, nothing else for them to do, yeah. Yeah, do you realize what you, what you should have done instead? Uh, I could have heralded top, or I could have just top gone back two, to you mean? I mean, honestly, yeah, you could have done that. But I would also not recommend it. Why? Do you know why? Um. No. Why? Botlane, what? Botlane pushed out. What can they do? Oh, they're gonna rotate mid and then they'll siege the mid turrets. So th I don't, maybe no, no, that's no, no, not a good no, no. trade. Oh, no? I'm telling you, you can die top lane. Oh, I can die top lane. This okay? The, so the same way they went rotate mid, right? Mm -hmm. They can just go to base. And run top. Oh, oh if they oh, see you pushing, yeah. they will probably do that. So they yeah. have time and they can like use that time whatever, however they wish. If that means rotating mid, okay, cool. If that means basing and running top, okay, like they can do that as well. They have the choice what to do. So in this case, you're not on the move, they have the like they have the, the, the tempo on your yeah. bot. So that means they can decide what to do. And it's not really on you to what to like when to go in currently. You have to wait until your bot is on move again. Right. So the only option actually is farming right now. Mm, this okay. is the only option. And then like get bot push. And with that afterwards you can play. Uh but okay okay, so you didn't die, which is good. <laughs> Alright. Um so you cleared your bot side camps. Why not top side? Uh I walked like uh to my Krugs, so I I just thought man, I might as well just get my collector and then Take the top. Oh, do I get it? Do I get my collector here? I do. Yeah. Uh, so actually, um, in general, which objective is like would would you be looking for? I mean, you're four thousand gold ahead. Which objective are you looking for? Baron. Well, it's it's, not... it's minute seventeen. It's minute yeah. seventeen. Yeah, it's gonna and look be at the map. The look at the map. Which objective is for, like should you be going for? You said you said. Oh Drake. yeah the. The bot turret is kind of free here. Correct. I mean, it's not free yet, but you should be working for to getting it, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it works like like outer turrets first, then uh, the mm -hmm. like second tier two, and then tier, tier three, right? This is like how you yeah. want to play it. T1 yeah. top, T1 mid is gone. So the only thing that's left is T1 bot. And that's like why I asked you that is because your pathing indicates for to me that you don't know this. Or like you don't think about it in game, right yeah, now going I, to your bot yeah. side, right means if you and of, of course if you base afterwards you will end up side. Yeah. Oh, so man. Let's, like yeah. let's let's see what you're doing. Because I mean afterwards you have to go top side. And look what I you're just, playing for. Yeah, I just. Okay. Yeah, that's. You're playing for camps, and this turret will never die now. Like yeah. it's impossible <laughs> that this turret dies. And so you're basically not making progress, even though you have 4,000 gold ahead. 
what what you should have done instead you should have taken these top side camps, then base, and then yeah. the bot side camps, and then play for bot, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, that's so smooth actually. Like it would have gone like clockwork. I'm just there, I have item up and then we can Oh man. I mean the thing is like for me personally, I think the problem is you not identifying what you should play for. Because I am pretty sure if I tell you, yo, you should play for T1, how should you do it? You would know, oh well, I just clear my top side camps and then I run bot. And yeah. then maybe I can I can take one camp while I'm running there, or maybe even two. If if I think I have enough time for two. But I will for sure run bot after this camps. Mm, right? Yeah. And this is how it generally goes. If okay, I mean this T1 bot lane turret still will stay forever, right? Um Okay, so you're basically just Aramming right now. Just randomly. And this is what what's gonna lose you the game, right? Probably. Yeah. It's <laughs> I bec because we did identify your champion isn't actually good into enemy champs, right? Yeah. Like team yeah. fighting is gonna be hard for you. And um yeah, this is gonna be it. And now you only have one dragon? Because I think you could have had three now. Yeah. yeah. And your your soul would be coming up in like two or three minutes. And yeah. I mean you do okay, this is fine. I mean I like that you cross map. Um Alright, so they did throw their Nash back, so the game is not over yet. We are still winning. Okay, now what is your objective? Uh, the tier 2 is gone, so it's going to be the top tier 2. Correct, how do you do it? Um, I mean, my team's already there, so we... I should just walk straight there. I think. It's... No, no, no! You don't, not, you don't do this. Oh, really? Um, the only way, or the only timer where you run instantly towards this turret and drop everything on the map is if you have Nash. Okay, that's huh. the only time. If you, if you have Nash, you wanna be pushing as, as much time as possible, and then it's okay to drop camps. Right now, every single wave is basically the same, right? I mean, okay, there's gonna be can wave soon. Um. But, so it doesn't matter if you first clear and then push, right, and, or like do it the other way, you have the same amount of pushing power. Okay, I, do you know what I mean? I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just thinking like, if my team is like three mid, like they, the enemy team can group and then uh, fight them faster. I don't even know if they're paying attention. Yeah, they're just like poking each other. Like, I feel, I feel like I should be there with them, because I, I can't control what they're doing, right? I can tell them, I can ping this them. This is correct. But... You, this is, I mean, this is very good. You don't, you, I mean, you can control them. Uh, like, are they inting? Not right now. Not right now. It's... Okay, I mean, your top lane has 1.5 gold. He is overstayed. Okay, I think he didn't base in a very long time. Your mm. Ezreal just pressed B and so he's in base. Okay, he does have TP, so... He can be there. Your Senna, is she overstayed, yes or no? Uh, I, I think so. She doesn't really have mana to fight she, a team fight. She's overstayed because also she has no wards. The support is always overstayed if he's no if he's not having wards, okay? I see. Um, so there's actually only one guy who is not overstayed, and that's your Silas. Right? Mm, so yeah. do you actually want to go in and do something on this turret? Like, do you want to push the turret right now? No, I really don't. <laughs> no, no, like your team should not do this. So they yeah. they are inting or no? Like are they inting or no? Yeah, they are. They are inting. They are. Yeah. They are inting. Correct. So they should get the fuck out now. And this is what you should like. If you see this, you need to ping them back. And for sure, you are not someone that are like, oh well, they're inting. Okay, I'm gonna go and go in as well. But you should be like, oh well, guys. I mean, get the fuck out. I'm like, I need to farm, and we're gonna play for this. This is fucking garbage. This is the correct one. Okay, and let's say they press B now. What is going to be the earliest they can be here? Uh, it's going to be like 40 seconds, right? Or, or more? Probably even longer, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
How much time do you take? Like this, 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 this? Uh, I, yeah. It, it's gonna be fast. Maybe like, I have a lot also, of items. It'll be same, thirty seconds. Around the same time, right? Yeah. But like, yeah. If, if you would have walked here, it would also take like forty seconds to take all of this. Uh, yeah. So you would yeah. actually have perfect tempo if they press B, and you farm. Wow. Yeah. I mean, okay, they're not doing it, right? They are in thing, but at least, like, it would have matched you if they pressed B. Mm, I see. And, okay, so what will happen now is, basically, this, <laughs> I mean, they will int, and you're pathing down, okay? I think at this point, you should probably just push this and get this turret, because I think mm. you can get it by yourself. Um, it would have been way more elegant if you just started on yeah. site, yeah. and now, uh, like, all camps are on cooldown, you have farmed everything, no one can take this anymore from the enemy, and now you just push top and try to get this, like, they would have entered the same way, right? Yeah. But then The only I... difference is that you end up top side, and then you can push without dropping anything. Yeah. Oh, man, that's so clean in comparison. Wow. And, I mean, you look, like, this shit is just up. And you still want to, like, you have, like, one thing on the bottom side and one thing on the top side you want to take now. And then it's, like, very hard to decide, wait, wait, what should I do? Yeah. And I, I also, like, there's no right thing, I would say. Like, both is fine. Going to bot side to farm this is okay. Going to, like, to take the third, it would also, in general, be okay. But, it, it, like, yeah, the, the smooth thing would have been just to take this at the start and then go to up and yeah. give all of your resource into the enemy top side. Okay. Okay, I guess this is the the turning point now. Because mm. we don't lose after this. I mean, actually, do you see your mistake? Uh, can you replay that? Uh, e then that's kind of unnecessary. I mean, the e the the e thing is the, is the mechanical mistake. I would say. I mean, to be honest, um, the bigger mistake is probably not wording this. Like, oh, like you guys, you guys are here, but you're letting yourself get count like get uh, blank because Ari is oh. pushing bot. Look at this, and she's just coming from here. Oh yeah, we knew that she's too. Just flanking, like, she's just flanking you for free. She's literally in the river and you don't see her. Yeah. So this is this is the bigger mistake. Uh, this is also the Mako mistake, I would say. Because what you should probably do is just con like push this and cover this. Like you don't you don't want to give her an entrance into the fight, like from the backline, right? Mm-hmm. And um but yeah, the mechanical stuff is just e like eating in here. Because you want to like not get CC'd, right? Yeah. And this guy eats you, now you're stunned, and this Jinx just free hits you. Yeah. Wait, action. Okay, everyone revived. Ari is dead. Oh, you can try Nash, I think it's fine. The... Uh, I mean, it was kind of the people, though, right? Now, which which objective are you playing for? Should be top tier two. It's it's still, yes, it's still yeah, top it's still tier that. two. We still haven't taken it yet. Oh man! Yes. And this shit just gets ignored. Okay, what you can like, what you can do actually is you can play for two inhibs, and then you can do base, and then you can like. Give all of your research top set to hopefully get these swords afterwards. Um, so this is basically what you guys are doing. But as soon as someone dies, this is like very hard. You get only one.
Okay, so dragon is in 30. You still... Actually, no, you, your net runs out. Which objective is important right now, so... I mean, it's still the tier 2, but it's like the third... The, the, it's like yeah. the third drake for both teams. Does this matter? Does this drag matter? You're saying third dragon for both teams. How many, like, how many dragons could you have had until now? Yeah, we, man, we could have just had, like had soul. Yeah. You could have had, I, th I think 30 minutes is, like, almost time for six. If you, if you had perfect ranks, okay? But, uh, so the third rank in itself, legit, doesn't matter, okay? Not at this point of the game. What will matter is the soul, but the third rank doesn't. Oh. So, huh. yes. Because, I mean, it actually, like, legit, it's just a very small buff. Uh, I mean, this one. It doesn't really matter. You should still get it if it's free, but it actually doesn't matter. So, if, let's say, you would control of your teammates, what should you do? Uh, okay, I was gonna say I wanted to contest the Drake, so someone with TP yeah. can push out top. Okay. Um, They push out, okay. Wave is now here. Dragon is spawned. Okay. Do you TP in? Oh wait, but that doesn't make or a not. sense. We're gonna we're gonna take like top inhib or something if they want to contest actually, the Drake. Yes, you actually get top inhib. Okay, wait. So, suddenly you see um you see Shen TP top to defend. Dragon just died. There's gonna like there's four people here. Would you would you would you go in or not? Uh. No, because he could ult back, but he doesn't Shit, have actually ult. Forgot. Actually, I forgot about the ult. Yeah, oh. he, could, he can ult back. Uh, okay, let, let's say Ari TP top. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's say Ari TP top. Yeah, this is can a good in? fight. Yes, then, yeah, then yeah. your top laner can TP towards this fight, right? Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. so this is... And, and okay, let's say you only get this turret and they get this dragon. And you don't kill them afterwards. Because and normally you would actually kill them afterwards because someone will have to defend it, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so and that would like worst case that would be worst case, and that is still worth for you because this turret will give you like one k, and the dragon is also worth like one k, and that's it, right? Mm. Oh, so you don't actually like put any worth in, like th the enemy just has pressure if if they have three drakes, like if the drake spawns and there's another play, they can. Uh, mm. You're like I mean, kind of forced to go dragon, right? I think that's like legit emotional. Like that's that's an emotional argument, right? Because the third dragon actually do not does not matter. If if the third dragon is at minute twenty, okay, they will have soul in twenty five. So actually, yeah, you kind of have to like kind of contest. But if the third dragon is at minute thirty two, one winning team fight will always end the game instantly. Oh, I see. So, you wanna, I see. so because because this dragon in itself doesn't matter, you do, you just want to maximize your map state, basically, and oh. that would for sure be running top, because the worst case is still good for you. And now you're taking this dragon, but I mean until you have soul, it's five more minutes, and in this five more minutes, you can lose the game. Yeah. Because you have because you have bad map state. Like if you push top now, someone will be, will be stuck top, and then you still have forty five mid. Right? Yeah. So okay, basically, I think your Silas entered, and they will wait. They will just run you down and end or what? Uh, we win this fight. Wait, you win this? Wait, did you win this game? Yeah, I think I sent you the wrong game. <laughs> oh my god! I was I was arguing like why you will lose this game, but you didn't even do it. Well, okay, so in the end, you did win. Yeah. I mean, All of the points still stand, right? Yeah, like, it's... Even though it's, like, a... It looks like a stomp on my OPGG, like, I still learned so much. Like, this. Uh... Okay, let's quickly get the other replay. All right. Yeah, we don't need to spend that much time on Gragas. I don't really... I don't really play it. What? What did I send you? This <laughs> I mean, honestly, let's still just watch it, okay?
Okay. Because I think you'll, you'll still probably do the same mistakes. But I won't go into too much detail. Okay, do not farm this. <laughs> do you know why? It's it's pushing... Um, oh, uh... I mean, it is pushing into enemies, okay. But, I mean, so basically TPing, the best case would, would be the, the, the push out. Uh, do you? Okay, so first... Oh my god, actually... Okay, so what is this wave state, actually? Uh... I, I don't think it's uh, going to be a a freeze. I think it's still pushing out. It is... Okay, 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 actually, we have to go back. After this fight. Okay, right now. What is the... Oh! Oh, no, it's pushing into us. It is actually pushing into you. Uh, so, to be, to be fair, it will be a pushback. Um, so because these all of these minions will die very quickly, right? And then it's gonna be kind of an even wave, so it will not freeze. But you like out attacking this, and then I think you even queued. Actually, did you? Okay, generally, generally, you are a jungler. Okay, riot mm -hmm. nerfed. Minion XP for junglers. Yes, I don't want to stick around so it, here. Yeah, you don't, because you don't actually get a lot of XP from this. Yeah. And because he will have TP, yes, maybe some of these minions will get lost. And some, like, it is okay. You just go farm your camps, right? This is way more yeah. important. Yeah. Are you, yeah, you stuck out of it for way too long. Uh Okay, your pathing in this game is completely random. I think. I mean you should have probably based way before. Like in like after this golems or maybe instantly after this fight. Oh. Or oh, full yeah. cleared base, right? I mean what you did is a little bit weird, but okay. This is a little bit of a random grub as well. Okay. Your butt side camps are still up. I was thinking, like, I could deny him a grub. And then I still get, like, the the first grub. The XP. Uh, okay. I, I figured that was good enough. I, okay, I, okay. You're doing this if you have nothing else to do. What do you do instead? Oh, the Dre or my I bot mean, you just camps. Like... You just full clear. You get level 6. And then you do the dragon. Yes. Yeah. If... Uh, if he did yeah. the grubs, you will hear it, right? You will actually hear it. And you will like, okay, at yeah. the end, I can do the grubs. If he didn't do the grubs, where is he? He's uh just on his camps. It's... Yeah, he's probably also bot side. And then he can yeah. maybe contest yours. So if, if you hear the grub sound, okay, you can actually do the dragon. If you don't yeah. hear the, uh, the grub sound, okay, maybe you have to invade. Or maybe, like, you will have to gank first, okay? So this is... Yeah, this is way better. And be, like, do you realize because you did this one grub, and then you did like two camps, your tempo was fucked. So this this counter actually had the time to take these grubs and still walk bot side and yeah. counter gank you, because you yeah. you had equal tempo, you didn't like you didn't generate tempo lead. Oh, that's actually crazy. That's so bad. <laughs> okay, what are you doing now? I, I thought you will start dragon. Is this your dragon? Oh man. Okay. I would say. Does, does the middle lane have bio? Uh, no, I, th I think he needs to, to base. It's. Okay. If he has to base, then do you have bio or not? No, no, I don't. Okay. Actually, there's, there's an exception. You will have it because he can TP. Ah! He can actually, inst oh, he can okay. actually instantly TP to Buzz War. So, yes, you do have mid bio or at least equal, but probably prior. Okay. You have uh, I don't think so. I, like, Sun is low, but right? I don't. I mean, look at this wave. 
Yeah, it's it's, it's gonna push it enemies, in. Right? Yeah. So I'll, I mean, I'll have it yes. in like five seconds if they hit. Correct. Them. You will you will yeah. have it soon. It's not yet, but yeah. you will have it soon. Yeah. Okay. So would this be a good dragon? Yes, yes it would, because he can just... Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, I mean, or, or like this river fight in general can be good. Okay? But, very important, you need to make time. A, you need to mm. make time for your for your Vager to press B and TP back, so this is at least 10 seconds. And you need to make time for your bot lane to push out and then come. So, oh, this dragon no. is going to be free in 10 seconds. It's not free yet. So, the Skarner mm. has a small window where he can actually contest yeah like like try to kill yeah i guess he, do he doesn't get the dragon in 10 seconds how can okay. i make that window then should i have gone bot and then like yes, get the you wave can help. And... yes you can help bot push so the important part is you do not want to fight right you're like yeah. oh shit he can kill me so right now i mean you see you saw i think talia and you don't know where skarner is so you right now you have to be fucking scared because yeah I mean, you can get killed. Oh. So, right now you're like... I mean, probably you should just pink ward this. And then sit here. Pink ward where? Probably. Pink ward this bush. Do you see my mouse? No. This. Okay. Pink ward that. And then sit here, I would say. And then wait until you're about pushed. And then as soon as it's pushed in, they will move. Mmm, okay. Right? So, okay, there's there's a different thing um, that I didn't teach you yet that I teach a lot of my students. In general, if you do, a, if you do this dragon, or like, let's say you do the grub as well, okay? Which ways can enemies enter? Uh, they can... How many ways are there to enter this and contest this? Uh, usually there's just... You either walk around or you blast cone over, so it's three... Okay, I mean, except the blast con, there's two ways, right? Mm hmm Which which ones are there? Like, where, where are the ways? It's just the the two entrances to the river. This one, right? This yep. entrance? Mm hmm And this entrance, right? Right. Okay. Which one is covered, which one isn't? I guess technically we warded the one closer to mid, so the bot isn't covered. So, I mean, yes, this, this entrance is technically legit covered, right? You see if someone walks through it. Yeah. And if someone walks through it, you don't see it. Mm -hmm. When will you see someone coming here? Legit, as soon, like, if they're in your face. Right? Yeah. They will be yeah. legit behind this stone. Yeah. If this was warded, let's say this, this was warded, or this was warded, how many seconds do you have until you can react? It's until way more. Uh, it's like, it's like five, five seconds, right? Yeah. Yes. You will have a lot of time to work out or to kite or whatever. It, whatever, like you will have information of if you have if you can keep hitting this or if you have to run. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. in this case, where do you want to put the board? I'll put it in the the bot uh... pixel, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that... this would have been double good to do it. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's go to the grubs or herald. Your blue side, okay? Your blue side. You want to do this? Where do you need to ward? Yeah, it's got to be those the the two entrances again. Yeah, this entrance and, and this entrance. Yeah. So the thing is actually, um, I mean, you will you're playing sweeper. I mean, I legit play most of the time trinket because I, I want to have this option to ward for myself. Um. Because you will have a lot of supports that don't work. I mean, this guy has three wards and it's just not working, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you have to, like, you just have to have this in mind that one side is covered, the other one isn't. Also, it will matter. Okay, it's a jungle, right? So you can know where, where Skarna is. If Like, I mean, we didn't really pay too much attention to Skarna in this game, but in general, you could know, right? Um, and the second one is, let's say someone has Pryo. Okay, let's let's say mid didn't have bio, but let's say Talia okay. just pushed this wave. Then this ward would cover you from there, right? Because you would actually see her approaching. Yeah, yeah. So ward counter or like if you have a ward, you will see if someone with bio will move. Mm. Okay, so let's say your bot had full bio and they would walk in here, and mid didn't. Then this would also be okay to not have wards here because you will yeah. you will 
Like the the lane that has Bayou is walled off. It's covered. It's defended. Yeah. This is the only lane you need to care about. And so yeah, like I, like now you will see what happens if you press it. They will just fucking walk into your face, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would you would see this so much earlier, and you wouldn't just walk into them. I mean, maybe you like maybe it's okay. Maybe Skarn is like a different kind of champ because he has like the wall thingy. But yeah, you would you would have seen Talia way earlier, and maybe you would have lived. Um. Yeah. Oh, what do we think about this grubs? Um, I mean, I'm taking them while all my camps are up, while top is like. Actually, I don't know. Can Camille? Can Camille come? Yes or uh, no? Not right now, but soon. It's okay. Correct. Can Can Talia come? Uh, if she's here, then she can come soon. Yeah, this is... I'm not going to get uh, all three if they move, for sure. So Wait, wait, maybe... wait. They just killed your bot, right? Oh, they... So Talia's... Talia is doing what? After yeah, this? She, she based. So she would have to ult to come. Correct. So because of ult, she might be in time, but, like, she will be pretty late. Yeah. What about Skarner? Uh, Skarner also based. Um... Okay, so, yeah, does, so so the same counts for him. I mean, maybe they will be in time to contest the last one, but in general, they will be too late, right? Mm, okay. I mean, and what they did is, I think, Talija's base and Renbot again. And Skarner. What did he do? He just based and Renbot as well, yeah. Oh, actually, Talia even died. We didn't, like, didn't pay attention. Okay, um... Are you just hoping that these camps are up? Um... Or do you know? I... I think these are... Can you check what level they are? Mm, level 7... Level 7. Okay, yeah. I think I was just hoping. I mean, it, like... In general, it's not good to hope. Or <laughs> yeah, camps yeah. Up, because yeah. if... If this is... Um, if this is not up, you're just wasting time, right? So at yeah. least oh. you should have an estimate if they should be. Like you should be having having a high percentage of a chance that they should be up, right? Yeah, I think what I was thinking is, uh, we saw Skarner bottom again. So then, oh, okay, okay. I was I, mean, I was I trying to match my my wolves to his something like that. I I, I don't actually remember this game this that well. So we can just say I was hoping. Okay. Yeah. Don't hope. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you should be doing this game what we did in the first game, right? You just, just like track this, the 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 jungler. Yeah. If if you know where he started, you can most of the time figure out. Okay, now he's top side. Okay, now he's bot side. Now is he? Now he's top side are spawning. Now bot side are spawning. Yeah. Right. And let's say, and then and then you will have like, okay, his top side are spawning soon. Wait, but he's bot. Okay, that means his bot side. Then I can counter jungle. Yeah. Uh, my camps were like. Off sync from his the whole game. I I usually use that to track, so I just, I just kind of lost track of him. Yeah, the problem is if you do that, uh, I mean, yeah, you aren't it's... efficient in your like in in in, in Emerald, right? So it's really? not gonna work. I... I mean, of course. I mean, this guy is not efficient. He left. He he leaves his camps a lot open and just goes for some random shit. Oh, that's okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, I think the only thing that I have a pattern for in this game is also the dragon, right? Which we could have taken, I think there was one point, instead of the grubs. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Was, I, think uh... that was, I think that was like the, the biggest thing in this game. And like just covering your objective correctly if you do it. But I would say our time is up. Do you have mm. any questions left? 
Um. Man, I le I learned a lot today. Hold on, let me see if I. Okay, so I feel like what we went over today is like uh, getting more like detailed on on the uh, the tempo differences between me and everyone else. Like, first of all, like being aware of that, and then mm -hmm. like finding like your options out, and then there's um, uh, playing for dragons. There's a uh, there's one other really big one I can't. Oh, what to which objective to look for in the mid game? Um, yeah, this one is very important. If you like, if you want to close out games, you need to know which turrets you need to attack. Right. Oh, which tur like specifically the turrets? I mean, to... yes, actually, turrets are the most important objectives in general. But of course, like you will rather have a Nash than a turret, right? I mean, yeah. Just because I say turret, don't always like overforce turrets, but. This like turret should be like your your chess game, you know, okay. like the general game of like how you want to play what, how you want to path, how you want to like you you will you will be like oh wait this dragon okay it doesn't matter, that's can we break their structures you know, because this is basically their their map, the turrets are their map, okay. and if you get a turret you break their map. So yeah, this is this one is very big. Okay, I was about to ask like what order to learn it in, but I think now it's kind of obvious. Wait, what do you mean? What in what order to learn the the thing is? Yeah, the stuff we went over today. Like it's it's one uh... thing like that we talked about it, but I actually need to do it in game. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. So how I, I how I recommend doing it. So the the most important I think the most important part is actually tempo. Mm, because okay. Because then you will identify, wait, this is a 4v5, wait, this is a 2v3, wait, this is a 1v2. Uh, because you know, wait, someone is not is not here and someone is here. like Or like can be here or cannot be here. And then you will only, like, and then let's say you only do plays where your team has tempo and, your, and the enemy team doesn't or like needs to base. You will most of the time, like, just eradicate mistakes. Mm. If you never do plays where your team has no tempo. And you only take mistakes where you have tempo. Of course, you like, yeah. like this. This will hit a wall at one point because, like, you you might only get like diamond or master with this because you will also have to play aggressive at some point. But if you only like, if you only play safe and play tempo plays, you'll only be very like you will be a lot better than most of the players. I see. Um, and the 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 third thingy that is very important to just progress a game, right? If you if you have a lead. And you don't like, and you, and you don't close out the game. It's most of the time probably because you're not playing for the correct turrets. Mm. This is kind of why I wanted to take the like good games where you performed well and you had a lead and you didn't, um, and you didn't win. Probably it was because you didn't get the turrets right. I see. I see. I mean, what I would recommend you to do is um, play games. In the games, don't think too much of like what I just said. Uh, but in the re like go after the game, go into the replay, and then you can be like then yeah then you think back. Wait, did I actually know that this supporter was moving? Okay, and then if the answer is no, you didn't know, then you ha then you can check why you didn't know. I mean, wait, she yeah. had push, and then she had move, right? This is the exact same thing that happened in the first game. I think enemy bot pushed, wave and move. And you didn't realize they had tempo because they pushed a wave. Yeah. And, and the, the same goes for jungle tracking. I think you should do that. I think in the in the Nocturne game, for example, you didn't track him that well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Always work work with replays. In 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 game, it will be very hard to improve. Like, you're not gonna sit there and hmm, who has prior and who has tempo right now? <laughs> yeah. And if you do it, if you do it often enough, like in the replay, it will just get muscle memory. Right. Okay. Do we have anything okay. else that's left open? Um. No, I think that's uh Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I want to ask. 
All right, then that would be it. All right, thank you so much, man. That is that it's my pleasure. <laughs> um, for you, it's uh, afternoon, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, how uh, is this like a coaching for like just the content thing? Are you going to start regularly coaching? Mm, I mean, I guess both. Both. Okay. We can. Uh, I, I, can I, I am. Later. I am doing it mainly because I can also like put it on YouTube and then yeah, <laughs> yeah. watch it as well on top. Okay. Well, thank you so much. That was. That was probably the best coaching I've ever had in league. Oh, that's kind of crazy. I hope. I hope you can use it well. I hope you get your your uh, grandmaster Elo. <laughs> go aiming for. I mean, if you keep improving, it it will just be a matter of time, right? Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, best of luck to you. Have a good All rest right. of the day. Yeah, you too. Have a good weekend, man. Thank you. Yeah. And see ya. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So finally, actually, I think I missed like 10 coachings where I recorded. And I just didn't. I just like it didn't. Like it had the wrong uh, audios. So I hope this one, you guys, uh, you guys learned a lot. Give me comments. Give me feedback. Whatever. Like it. Just like this. Go comment. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's going to be some more, obviously. I have some more scheduled. Yeah, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye-bye.